Welcome! Here's an easy forest tutorial for those who are just getting started with Unreal Engine. I only show what's necessary and keep the scene extremely simple to help you. Let's create a new project. Go to Film, then select the blank project. We're starting from the basic. Name it anything. Easy forest it will be for me. Click Create. Once it's open, I want you to check if you have the Fab tab. We're going to need it. If you don't, I linked a quick 40 seconds video to show you how to add it for free in this video's description. Now that this is done, go back to the main scene. We're not going to build directly here. Create a new level using File, New Level. Select Basic, it's mostly empty and very well organized. It's perfect to start. Wait a second for it to load, then hold right click on your mouse and move it around to look around. While still holding right click, use W, A, S, and D on your keyboard to move in the scene. You can also use Q and E to go up and down. This level we just created is not saved yet. It could be important to start with this. Just do Ctrl plus S or Command plus S on Mac OS. Now that this is done, let's get started. We need to create a ground for the forest, so just delete this. Click on it to select, then press delete on your keyboard. Now for adding the ground, click selection mode and choose landscape. This is where it happens. This green grid is where the ground will appear. There's some settings available here, but let's keep it simple. Just click create. Now it appears you have a brush. You can now paint mountains or something like that. But let's not. It would be wiser to start with adding a cube to evaluate scale. You can imagine the cube is one meter cube. Oh, it seems the cube decided to spawn in my ground. I'm temporarily going back to selection mode to select the cube and move it up a little. Now that we got this good looking cube, go back to landscape mode. Let's make this quick. On the left, you got brush strength and brush size. Find something that works for you and slowly build your ground. Nothing crazy, this is just not a flat world. Consider that done. Now go back to selection mode. This error message can be removed just by clicking play, then escape on your keyboard. It appears we're now under the ground, that's fine. Hold right click on your mouse, then hold E on your keyboard to go up. How about adding some grass already? Open bridge. If you don't have that bridge tab, here's how to add it. Control plus spacebar to open the content drawer. Right click, add Quixel content. That's simple. Now let's find a forest ground. Then we'll add the grass and trees. This one looks good, so download it with this button, then add it to your project simply by clicking on this blue button. Go back to your forest level, then this tab is still open. We're going to use it. For that, click on your ground, and after scrolling a little, you will find landscape material. You can simply drag and drop the ground texture on that. Back to bridge, now we're adding the grass. This one looks good. Again, download, then add. This time you can close that tab. Control plus spacebar to open the content drawer again, and you'll now see a Megascans folder. It contains everything we downloaded from Bridge. Open it, and you can see we got the ground texture in the surfaces folder and the grass in the 3D plants folder. You could drag and drop every grass assets one by one, but that would take a thousand years. Instead, go to foliage mode. The grass pack we downloaded contains a foliage folder, that's what we see here. Select all that grass, then check them all. Now point at the scene and you have another brush. This one can paint grass. Just click where you want to add it. It takes a few seconds to load and now we got this. It's clearly not dense enough. You can fix this easily here. Undo that with Control or Command Z, then look you got a paint density here. That's only the brush density though. You'll also want to increase the foliage density. Since they're all currently at 100, you can change all of them at the same time to 1000. Now this is looking amazing. But I believe 500 will do better. Yeah, looking good. Just one thing before adding the grass, I want to place my camera. Go back to selection mode, add a camera, then get in the camera view. Now that we're in the camera, we can place it exactly where we want it. 
Now that it's placed, get out of it using this eject button. While the camera is still selected, you can pin it here using this pin icon. Now you can select any other object while keeping the camera view. Go back to foliage mode. All the grass is already selected, so let's start painting. I'm done with that, now we should add some trees. Open the fab tab. Here search for black alder, find a tree pack from them. This one, European black alder, it's so realistic and easy to use, I highly recommend this. Just click that add to project button, then wait. Okay, the wait is done for me, you can close this tab. Now back to the forest level. Control plus spacebar to open the content drawer and go back to the content folder. See black alder? That's our trees. Open that folder. Here we have a foliage folder, just like the grass we could paint the trees. But for this project, we'll use the geometry folder to place them one by one. If you don't know the difference between these two, just pick simple wind, it will work. Now look at all these trees, just drag and drop the ones you want. Simple as that. But you gotta be patient, each tree has to load. I just added the entire first line in my scene. Now we got the camera view pinned and many trees to place. Make something that looks great. To duplicate a tree, I just hold option on my keyboard. I believe it's Alt on Windows. One thing that could help a lot is to get in the camera view sometime, just to have a better view of how it looks. And you can also edit the scene from here. We really don't need that cube anymore, just delete it. Back in the camera, we're now adding the fog. Look in the outliner, where there's all items from your scene. Find exponential height fog. It should be there in the lighting folder if you created the new level as I did. So select that fog, then scroll until you find volumetric fog. Turn it on. Right now, you can't really see a difference from it, but after adding more intensity and changing the sun position, it makes a huge difference. Feel free to experiment with it after this video. Now this is the fog density. Try some high values and see what it does. You can always change it later anyway. Now hold Ctrl plus L on your keyboard. Move your mouse cursor around and it will move the sunlight. If it doesn't work, just click anywhere in the scene to select it. Then it should work. Now try to find something that looks better. I'm also trying different fog density. Okay, this looks not too bad, but I will probably change it later. Make sure fog is selected in the outliner and try to change the albedo color under the volumetric fog settings. You can imagine it as the color of the fog. Many possibilities, I'll keep it like this for now. Now find directional light. You can imagine this as the sun itself. You can change its intensity here. Try big values and see what it does. Directional light has a color too. Try changing it. Now I'm trying different fog values again. I pin the camera and I'm now placing more trees by duplicating those that I already had. Back in the camera, open the content drawer and add some more plants from this black alder pack. One last lighting detail you might want to know. Skylight. This one has the power to make the entire scene brighter. If you look at the dark places on the trees especially, that's where it's really useful. Try putting a high intensity scale here, but not too much. Skylight also has its own color. Try playing around with those.
Here I'm just placing some more trees around. I got back in the camera and I'm thinking maybe I could improve the sun position. Let's try on the other side. Oh, whoa, that's so much better. Let's see what we can get from this. Now I'm just experimenting with different sun position and changing the lighting and fog settings using only stuff I've already shown you. Also moving and duplicating some trees, just trying to make a good looking scene. I want to keep this tutorial as simple and short as possible, so that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll make more of these easy project videos if I see people in the comments asking for it, so let me know what you think.